From the home of the Big Blue Nation, this is PBN Game Day, presented by Central Bank. Welcome to BBN Game Day. I'm Mary Jo Perino. I'm Christy Thomas. Game Day, my favorite game. Yes. Day. It's yes. always the best day. All right, on today's episode, we're going to get you ready for that game. The Cats are looking to earn that first win of the season tonight against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Kickoff is set for 7.30 at Kroger Field, where Bulldogs head coach Mike Leach will be making his return to Lexington. Christy, it's the Cats' chance to tie up the series with Mississippi State right now. They have the slight edge, 24-23. to 23. In the last four years of this series, the home team has always won so let's hope that trend continues today even with limited attendance at Kroger Field last year the Cats lost down in Starkville that was with Sawyer Smith at the helm Lynn Bowden hadn't taken over yet and this year's offense man it looks totally different with Terry Wilson back in that QB chair both Kentucky and Mississippi State have struggled with their special teams units Kentucky, of course, had that missed point Ugh. after attempt <laughs> last week in overtime. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to bring it up again. Yeah. Uh, Mississippi State's freshman punt returner fumbled late in the fourth quarter. Those little mistakes can cost you wins. Uh, it's been an unusual season for Mississippi State already. They upset the reigning national champion LSU in week one, only to lose to an unranked Arkansas team in week two. That's pretty typical for Mike Leach. One really big win and then a clunker in their next week. In their win and their loss this year, Mississippi State's offense has been rolling. No surprise, 632 yards in week one, another 400 in week two. Quarterback K.J. Costello throwing the ball about 60 times a game. For comparison, Wilson attempted 37 passes against Auburn, and that was his career high, by the way, and 18 against Ole Miss. That's the difference an air raid offense can bring. But that can also mean turnovers. Christy, the Cats need some this week. <laughs> Costello's thrown five picks, um, and he's been sacked six times. They desperately need some turnovers. That's something that's been a big point of contention. When you score 41 points, that should be enough for you to win a ball game. And when it's not, that means we've got some problems. Some things aren't going so well on defense. So the Wildcats are just one of three teams in college yeah. football that have not forced an interception. Really, they've not forced any turnover for yeah. that matter. Defensive coordinator Brad White says it's time they take care of that. Absolutely, we need to make more plays. We, we, we have gone two games. We haven't forced a turnover. Um, that's unacceptable it's not giving the the offense any chances to have those short fields uh, so no we we need to continue to find ways to make plays and it, some of it's you know guys have a natural feel but some of it's structure and some of it uh, is play calling and I've got to make sure I put them in position to make plays Play calling, of course, it always matters. But today's weather could also play a role in that. Uh, no rain, we're hoping, especially a team <laughs> that throws the ball so much. Could be in the Cats' favor tonight. I don't know. Let's check in with LEX 18 Chief Meteorologist Bill Meck. What do you think, Bill? All right. No, all week people have been saying, Bill, do your part on this. You know, get us what we need. Well, first of all, my part, I think, was actually changing my tie. The last couple weeks I've been going with the blue and white striped tie. Now it's the official UK tartan. So, with that in mind, I've done the part here of superstition-wise. Now, let's get to the science. We are looking at the beginnings of the moisture of Hurricane Delta coming in. As we get you to kick off and beyond, you see there are at least going to be scattered showers around. This is not the main core of the tropical system, though. This is just some light rain that will be coming through from time to time, just some scattered showers around. So, specifically what you're looking at as we get you into game day here, yeah, there will be a few showers around, not like the deluges we dealt with some of the times last year. Uh, close to 70 at kickoff, mid-60s at the end of the game, and the rain chance will be increasing as we head toward the end of the game. So, again, here's my part. We'll send it back over to you guys. I will agree with that. Bad juju, you can't have bad juju. So if you've got a certain tie that's working and you got to mix it up, then you do that. I'm, I believe, I'm a believer. Well, I thought I told you to wear flats today. <laughs> No, well, I, I mean, of, we haven't won when you've been of, towering yeah. over me, so <laughs> let's let's change that. Well, galoshes for both of us this weekend, <laughs> yeah, maybe. There you go. Well, we talked about the differences in week one and week two for Mississippi State. One big one is Kylan Hill. He had almost 200 yards on the ground against LSU, but went down after a hard hit in the first quarter of that Arkansas game did not return. He is expected to play today against the Cats, and he torched him last year, racking up 120 yards and three touchdowns. 
when the Bulldogs beat Kentucky last season. Uh, Christy, we talk about how much Mike Leach loves to throw the ball, but when you've got a weapon like Kylan Hill in the backfield, you, you've got to use him at some point. Absolutely, and they why wouldn't they, to your point? But I think we're also at this place. We're at a crossroads with our defense here where they've got to figure some things out. They're really looking for an emotional leader. They've got athleticism. They have size. They have experience. There's no reason why they can't or are not making plays. It's going to be huge for the secondary to make plays, but now we got to go to those guys. The big boys on the line have got to make some noise tonight and make sure that they're watching. And, uh, and, and a guy like this, you're exactly right. He's dangerous. Yeah. So then you got UK on the other hand. They're down a running back. Cavassier Smoke is out today with a rib injury. He left last week's game before halftime, did not return. Mark Stoop says he could be out for a couple of weeks. So good thing you've got a real big stable of running backs here. Chris Rodriguez was great. He, he was so great. Of course, you've also got AJ Rose. And I would not be surprised, as Eddie Grana said, if we see some freshmen today, whether it be Travis Tisdale, Jatan McLean, uh, we're going to see those guys in the backfield at some point this year. Chris Rodriguez played so well against Mrs. Ole Miss after Smoke left the game. He had 78 of his 133 rushing yards in the second half in overtime. Rodriguez knows he'll probably see just as many, if not more, snaps this week without Smoke available as a backup, but he also knows he won't be the only one stepping up to the plate. So he was probably the next backup, but I mean, we all have our roles or whatever. Uh, Jatan and Travis, they've been working their butts off every day since the season started. And uh, I, I don't know, they might get some playing time this week. That's Jatan McLean and Travis Tisdale, of course, as Mary Jo mentioned. They're two freshmen, but offensive coordinator Eddie Grand says their age won't prevent them from seeing playing time this week. You know, I'm excited about those two youngins, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm excited to see how they're going to uh, – approach practice approach the you know learning your opponent and and really understanding what the game plan is going to be at the end of the week uh so I'm, I'm not i'm not afraid to put one of them in this is really what you're working for you're working for depth in every position running back is no exception for kentucky they've got plenty of guys that can step up i've listened to dusty bonner talk an awful lot about travis tisdale he's from down his neck of the woods yeah. he really likes what this kid brings to the table yeah i think it'll be exciting to see some of that uh freshman play we just we, the defense has just got to find a way to win games when the offense puts up, you know, 41 points. That's right. Got to win when you score 41. Coming up next on BBN Game Day, we're going to talk with Kentucky's defensive line coach, Anwar Stewart. How are his guys preparing for today's game? Stay with us. You're watching BBN Game Day, presented by Central Bank and sponsored by Coca-Cola, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Kentucky Select Chevy Dealers, Kroger, Lexington Opera House, and Papa John's. When you're out recruiting, a phone call doesn't always cut it. You have to be there face to face. It's the same with banking. That's why I chose Central Bank. At Central Bank, it's easy to stay connected with online and mobile banking. But when you need someone to talk to or a quick decision made, we're right here with the products and personal service to help guide you toward your financial goals. Bank local. Grow local. Bank local and put Central Bank's local advantage to work for you. Love getting prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh? With the Kroger app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales and rewards like fuel points, all for prices that are lower than the everyday low. So go ahead, get lower than low. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Happy birthday to you. Kentucky Farm Bureau has been insuring folks for more than 75 years. So we know Kentucky. Case in point, we know the happy birthday song was written by a pair of Kentucky sisters. The whole song lasts only about 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah, good thing. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, big on commitment. You're watching BBN Game Day, presented by Central Bank. Welcome back into BBN Game Day. Kentucky's defense faces another high-powered offense when they kick off with Mississippi State. It just keeps coming. I know. <laughs> These I, offenses. I talked with D-line coach Anwar Stewart about his squad's preparations for the matchup at Kroger Field. 
Coach, I know you're really looking forward to tomorrow because you got to get that first W. And once that happens, I really feel like, you know, uh, things are going to be looking up. But I know you need tomorrow. No doubt. You know, it's a really big game. Just like every week, it's a big game for us. Uh, you know, just looking back, you know, the last two games, we feel like we should have won those games, you know. Uh, you know, just little things that, you know, we have to continue to correct. But you know what? Overall, guys are great spirit, and uh, we're excited about getting out tomorrow and performing. When a team throws it as much as Mississippi State does, you know, 50, 60 times a game maybe, how important is it for your guys to get pressure on the QB? Run or pass is very important for us up front, you know, to play physical, uh, play fast. And so it's, it's very important. You know, Coach Lee's going to spread that ball around. And so we got to get to the quarterback. And so that's been a huge emphasis this week. Uh, you know, they don't run the ball very much. You know, they have like three top runs, and that's it. And so uh, the emphasis of this week is getting to the quarterback. Uh, they don't run it much, but when they do, Kylan Hill can be um, a really dangerous guy to try to get stopped. Really shifty back, uh, really good movement, lateral movements can make you miss. And he also, you know, put his head down and run you over. So, but you know what? Those are SEC running backs. And so, uh, you know, we're excited about it. We play against, you know, we practice against really good running backs every day. And AJ and, and Chris and Smoke. So uh, we're prepared. We're ready to go. Uh, and we're just going to go out and just be physical. You know, when they do run the ball, we're going to be physical. Stop them. Let's get them in second and long, third and long. And let's get after the quarterback. What have you seen from your guys on the line so far this year that's really impressed you? You know, the guys, they're focused. You know, they're, 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 uh, they're all in. Uh, they're playing physical. We're getting to the quarterback. Uh, we're doing some really good things. We're getting all blocks. Now, I just got to give them to continue to strain. Championship strain for 60 minutes. Uh, but I'm enjoying coaching these guys. And, you know, me being back, you know, after one year, it's, it's pretty much the same guys. And so uh, just very excited about coaching these guys and just watching us grow. Can you sort of talk about how it all works together? You guys as a defense haven't gotten a turnover yet. Um, the, the line, the linebackers and the secondary. And I feel like sometimes the secondary has maybe taken more heat than is deserved. Um, this year, especially without having that turnover yet, no picks. Uh, but how do you, how do all three groups kind of work together? Well, we're all connected, Mary. You know, we're all connected. And so there's 11 guys out there at one time. And if one guy decides that he wants to do his own thing, then you know what? Offense capitalized from that. We just got to go out and just play together, play Kentucky defense, championship ball. If we do that, we'll be fine. Uh, you know what? We haven't caused turnovers. That's been a big emphasis, you know, getting that ball out, getting the ball back to our offense because we know our offense is explosive. Uh, you know, playing a team like this, you know, we want them to run the ball as much as they can so that we can keep the ball out of Coach Leach's hands. So uh, we want to get that ball back, and we're going to cause turnovers tomorrow. We're going to fly around. We're going to have fun and, uh, and, 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 you know, hopefully get the victory. Morale of this team right now, still pretty good, would you say? Yes, ma'am. We got a great group of guys, great group of young men. They love ball. They love each other. And so and we know that we let these two games slip away from us. And so we know that this is the SEC and we got to go out and give it everything that you have and be detailed in your work every day, every practice, every play. And that's what you have to do. And that's what we're learning. And so uh, the guys are great. They understand that, you know, what we got to do in order to be successful. And they're all in. Coach, the next opportunity comes tomorrow night. We can't wait. Thanks for being with us today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. That strain, that championship strain. Yeah. I really like that. That's yeah. the next level of what this team needs to do. All yeah. right, when we come back on BB and Game Day, get your sirens ready if you want to play along with us. That's because we have Mike Leach, former UK assistant coach, current head coach of Mississippi State, and the loudest proponent of an air raid offense. Stay with us. Today, tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Before the victory, there's this.
the first step. You dig in, work hard, win or lose, try again. Those are big. But it all starts with that first step. And to get there, we come here to the University of Kentucky, where every moment and every victory is wildly possible. You're watching BBN Game Day, presented by Central Bank. Welcome back to BBN Game Day. Now it's finally time to hear from the man himself, Mike Leach. What an odd dude, right? He <laughs> talked with Mary Jo and Keith about his time in Lexington under Hal Mummy, his return to the bluegrass this weekend, and his ideal dinner party guests. Take a look. The air raid returning to Kroger Field. We are fortunate enough to be joined by Coach Leach now on the phone uh, from Starkville. Coach, how are you doing? Well, we're doing pretty good. Um, you know, just getting ready to play, uh, go to the Bluegrass State, play Kentucky. But uh, I have great memories of uh, coaching there at the University of Kentucky. So even though I won't have time to really go down memory lane very much, it'll be great to go back there. Great what? to see Commonwealth Stadium. What comes to your mind when you think uh, University of Kentucky and you hear Lexington as you are about to come back? What, what are some of the thoughts that go through your mind? Uh, how beautiful it is, how green it is. Some of those kind of old school, homey kind of restaurants and places downtown. Keeneland for sure. Oh, when they sing my old Kentucky home. Uh, of course, Hal Mummy, you were here with him. And I know you still have a, a pretty close relationship with Coach Mummy. Yeah, I hear from him fairly often, and he's he's still slugging away. He's uh, you know he's never far from football, no matter where he's at. Well, he said he thinks that you are the best coach out there right now. Do you agree? Well, I don't know. I just do it day by day. <laughs> Some days I might work my way that direction. Some days not so not so well. You know, <laughs> I think it's I think football is just kind of a. A uh, constant series of improvements. You know, I think he's constantly improved, constantly keep plugging away in one increment at a time and uh, just try to be the best you can. And, and the more you do that, the better you're going to be. Coach, we know you're not giving away the game plan, but how does the air raid look different from when you were here as an assistant to where you are now at Mississippi State? You know, it's really quite similar. That's kind of a difficult question for me to answer because, yeah, there have been some subtle changes. I just don't remember when they were made, you know, and I don't remember exactly what. Uh, generally a technique, generally here or a tag there or something like that. Maybe the occasional new play, not that often. It'll look similar for sure. And then, you know, you just try to hone it sharper and get it better. You know, I think that there's football, no matter what side of the ball you're on. It's, it's, I mean, it's not about fooling the other guy. I mean, that might happen, and you're happy when it does. But in the end, you got to survive on execution. You have to be able to execute. How has the transition been for you to come back to the SEC and to be in Starkville? Uh, it's been good other than, you know, you got this COVID, all the interruptions with COVID and the distractions that that provides. You know, the ultimate relief to your day and your coaches and your players is when they get to be together out there practicing, working, or meeting. And I do think that uh, guys are embracing it more now than ever, you know, simply because uh, it was something that was almost taken away from them. Everybody's excited to play and everybody feels privileged that they get to. And so, you know, hopefully uh, that's uh, able to go forward and, and we don't have too many obstructions on that. Coach, earlier I said that if I was at a dinner party, I'd love for you to be sitting at my table. Um, who would you have? Is there three or four people you'd have at your dinner table if, if you could pick those? That's a tough question. Uh, it depends if the, whether they're alive or dead. Of course, you take uh, Christ off the table because that's just too heavy, like duh, of course, or any deity, any deity, because any deity's unfair, you know, because everybody would select that. I think, well, first of all, Geronimo, who I wrote a book about, definitely would I'd want him there. George Washington would be a good one. I don't know, maybe Winston Churchill. I mean, it changes all the time. It kind of changes all the time based on what I'm reading or what I'm checking out. That would be fascinating, though, if he could manage to do it. Dinner parties just get the guys together and, and get to know people from different walks of life. 
Could we all have a dinner party <laughs> together? I think that would be yeah, interesting. Yeah, my tweets would probably dude. be one of mine. I, yeah. I don't know how he would not be. Yeah. I mean, I think what an interesting time <laughs> to spend with, with somebody like that. Just uh, so many facets to him. I think he is uh, really an interesting guy. We appreciate that. That was a great interview. Up next, we'll go behind the mask with Kentucky senior Quentin Bohanna, who's a bit of a softie for his mama. How can you not be? Stay with us. BBN Game Day continues next. That's my buffalo flatbread bullseye for my mouth to aim at. Oh, hiding, huh? The new grilled buffalo chicken papadilla. Tangy buffalo sauce grilled chicken and melty cheese for just six bucks. Papa John's. Sticky notes are part of our daily lives. And people have found some pretty creative uses for them. As Kentucky's insurance company, we appreciate the resourcefulness and the fact that billions of sticky notes are made each year right here in the Commonwealth. And we think that's something Kentuckians find pretty noteworthy. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, big on commitment. Welcome back to BBN Game Day. Kentucky Senior Nose Guard is you know, big. He's a big guy. He's listed at 6'4", 357 pounds, but he only likes his bed and his mama. He's oh, not sorry. What's not to love about that? Let's go behind the face mask with Quentin Bohanna. Bohanna, Memphis, Tennessee, defense tackle. My major is communications. I want to coach at the football. My like mom, I'm a hard worker. She a hustler. She put that in me to want to be something and go out and get it. Don't depend on nobody. So this is what she mean to me. She my everything. I want to dominate and, you know, Make teams be like, he the player to watch out for when they look for Kentucky and, you know, fulfill my dream of playing in the NFL. Field. Ball's oh, hot loose! Go ahead and comes up with it! When someone doesn't know about Coach Dukes, how do you describe him? Um, he a player's coach, and he, uh, he gonna do whatever's best for the team overall. Who, what person in your life has influenced you the most? Um, Probably my older brothers, all of them, and my father. They just showed me, you know, this is right and this is wrong. You choose your path is on you, but we're going to tell you the way to go, which is right. And, you know, just taught me by experience and learned from them. Since I can walk, this all I've been doing, been around, studied, watched. So I just love it. My uncle put me in it when I was four, and I ain't missed a season since. We need a big day out of you, big man. That's Up it. next on BBN Game Day, we will get you ready for tonight. That includes our Coke Play of the Week. Don't go away. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get $4,500 cash allowance on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Love getting prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh? With the Kroger app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales and rewards like fuel points, all for prices that are lower than the everyday low. So go ahead, get lower than low. Kroger, fresh for everyone. When you're out recruiting, a phone call doesn't always cut it. You have to be there face to face. It's the same with banking. That's why I chose Central Bank. At Central Bank, it's easy to stay connected with online and mobile banking. But when you need someone to talk to or a quick decision made, we're right here with the products and personal service to help guide you toward your financial goals. Think local. Grow local. Bank local and put Central Bank's local advantage to work for you. He gets the call, big hole, 20, 15, cuts left, 10, 5, touchdown, Kentucky!
Yeah, this week's Coke play of the week. We're throwing it back to last Saturday when Chris Rodriguez ran the ball for 22 yards and a touchdown. He had another score earlier in the game, too. This one was just our favorite. Hopefully we'll see a few more of these today. A lot of those. Thank you for joining us on this episode of BBN Game Day. We'll see you again next week. Until then, go, go Big Blue. Blue. BBN Game Day, presented by Central Bank and sponsored by Coca-Cola. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Kentucky Select Chevy Dealers, Kroger, Lexington Opera House, and Papa John's.